want to, want to. Viewers, subscribers, and them saints. Let's have a little scriptures. Shall we? Hebrews seven twenty five. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost. He'll save anybody, anybody from the guttermost to the uttermost, which is heaven. Them that come unto God by him, by Jesus, the mediator, seeing he ever lived to make intercession for them. Jesus, the mediator, making intercession for us to God. He is the mediator. For Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except by me, except through me, the mediator of us all. Let's go to Ezekiel 18.4. Go ahead, break out your Bibles. Ezekiel 18.4. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Ezekiel. Say hallelujah when you found the page. Ezekiel 18.4 Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Only God has power and authority over everything in this world the heavens above and below the earth including life and death only God has power and authority over life death. your soul belongs to him he created you did he not your soul belongs to God the Father. God said, from dust you came, to dust you shall return. But your soul belongs to me. Yes. Amen. And the soul that sinned, it, it shall die. Which is why you must get right with Christ today because he is the one who will make a way when there seems to be no way. Let's go to Jeremiah 17.9. Jeremiah 17.9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Desperately wicked, desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yes, the heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? Your friend that claims to be your friend will stab you in the back. Everyone around you that claims to be your friend 
some the Lord have put in your life for a season. Some are in your life for a purpose. Some are false and some are true. But in the kingdom of God, we are all brothers and sisters. The heart is deceitful. But God will take that heart and heart and turn it to turn that heart of stone into a heart of flesh. So you can have true understanding and knowledge of the compassion and the love that God has for us. Am I right about it? Alrighty then, let's go to Hebrews 2, 3. Hebrews 2, 3. Hebrews 2, 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? You cannot escape the truth. You cannot escape God's word. You cannot hide from God. Instead of running from God, why don't you run to God? Amen. So great a salvation, which at first began to be spoken by the Lord, which is Christ Jesus, during his ministry, he preached salvation and hellfire. Amen. He preached salvation, and it was confirmed unto us by the apostles that heard him, the disciples, who later became the apostles that heard him and were living witnesses and can give testimony to his resurrection and his ministry. Yeah. How great a salvation. Let's go to first John one nine. First John one nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us all from unrighteousness. Just imagine everything you've done, even since you was a little baby teeny weeny baby everything you said everything you've done everything you've committed every foul word that came out of your mouth every treacherous thoughts that you had in your head every hate that you concealed in your heart every sin that you've ever committed in your life can be forgiven and wiped clean. You will be made a new creation and you will be made righteousness and you are no longer an unrighteous dark soul. And he is just and quick to forgive us. Jesus said, I will take your sins and cast them into the depths of the sea, and I will remember them no more. Yes, you can be made clean and new, just like that. It's not, it's not something you do. It's something that Jesus does, because God loves us so much. He sent us his only begotten son, the lamb slain, 
who overcame and is coming back once again to reclaim the kingdom of heaven. Amen, amen. Let the truth say, amen. Okay, we're going to do one more scriptures. One more scripture. And then I'm going to go eat. I'm hungry. I am hungry. I think I'll make some spaghetti. Okay, let us go to Ezekiel 36, 26. Ezekiel 36, 26. By the way, you guys like my music? Ezekiel 36, 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Yes, he will take that hardened heart. Which is the same thing as a stony heart. And give you a heart made of flesh. You see, when you accept Jesus... And you are born again. Let me stress. And you are born again. Let me say that one more again. Because it's important. And you are born again. He will give you, you he will give you a new heart and a new spirit you will have. And he can do it. Because God can do it anything and everything he has total control power and authority amen amen jesus said to nicodemus when nicodemus asked him well let me start from the beginning nicodemus was a pharisee but he admired Jesus and he listened to his teachings. And he was in awe. He wanted to be saved. He wanted to be saved. So Nicodemus invited Jesus to his house because they had to do it in secret. Can't do it in front of the Pharisees because the Pharisees was against Jesus. They was always trying to trick him and trap him and they were the ones who crucified him. So, Nicodemus asked Jesus. He asked Jesus and said, Master, what must I do to be saved? And Jesus said, You must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again. And Nicodemus was confused. He said, huh? Master, what do you mean? Must I enter into my mother's womb and come out again? And Jesus said, no. John the, Bapti John the Baptist baptized with the water. But I, I baptized with the spirit and the fire. Yes, you must be born again. And he will give you a new heart. You will have a transformation. And you'll be saved from the decimation of this wicked nation through God's proclamation that we are all in dire eradication. And this world is coming to a dire cessation. So don't refuse the salvation. Walk with Jesus every day in justification. And when you see Jesus face to face, you will give him a warm embrace and he will take you with him to his heavenly place. Amen. Amen. 
hope everybody has a blessed day. Thank you for watching. And y'all don't forget, hit that like button right there. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe there. Open your Bible today. Open your Bible to pray. Open your Bible today. Open your Bible to pray. Open it. Open it. Open it. <laughs>